picks. Hi everyone and welcome back to our set of videos on free software that you can download and use directly at home. Uh, really quick, please excuse the mess behind me. We're currently doing a little of rearranging of, well, the room uh, to do some 3D printing stuff, which uh, hopefully I'll have up a little bit later this week. So uh, swing back uh, at some point to check out what all that good stuff is about. But onto the free software. So as I mentioned, I'm going to continue talking about free software for you to use at home. This is all stuff that we're incorporating to our classes and if you wanna mess around with it, you're more than welcome to do so. So last week I went over software that was geared towards drawing and photo manipulation. For this week, we're gonna be talking about software specifically for graphic design. Now, what I mean by that is we're gonna be focusing on software that uses vector tools to create images. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's actually jump in and take a look and see what software I have to show you. So let's start with Gravit. This was recommended to me by a coworker and the way he described it was, it's basically a simpler version of Adobe Illustrator. Gravit is available to use online, but you can download it directly onto your computer. It has all the basic tools that you would normally see in vector programs. It's got the shape, it's got the pen, it's got the text tool, they're all there. And you also have additional options to edit those shapes, including the knife tool, a free editing tool, and there's also some nice options here to change up your shapes. So there's the alignment tool, you have blending modes, and you also have some effects that are available. Additionally, you also have access to an online library. You can create different pages with the same document, and you can also save shapes out for later use in a document. They refer to this as uh, using symbols. However, Gravit also has a pro version that you can buy and unlock for more tools. I haven't used the pro version myself. I've messed around with the basic version and it works very good. Very good. It works very well. Occasionally you will get a pop-up or two encouraging you to sign up for the pro version, but it's not very frequent and it definitely doesn't make it unusable. So if you are looking for something nice, basic, and you know just really easy to use, I definitely recommend using Gravit. Next up, we have Inkscape. Now this is one that I've used a little bit more. Inkscape is an open source program, again, that's completely available for free. You do have to download it, but it comes with a lot of power. Uh, you have all the primary tools that I mentioned with Gravit and, using, uh, and for use in vector graphics and then some. It's got perspective tools, it's got the pencil, pen, calligraphy brush for generating different types of curves. You got the spray paint tool, you can create gradient meshes, there's measurement tools, paint bucket, plenty of color swatches, all that good stuff. My only downside to Inkscape, in my opinion, is that the user interface is a little odd to navigate and some things don't act as you would expect. However, a good Google search and checking the manual can fix that pretty easily. If you're willing to spend a little bit of time getting to know Inkscape, then you can do a lot with it. A quick note, Windows users can install this directly onto their machines no problem. You Mac users will have to install an additional program called Xquartz along with the main installation. The instructions should be available on the website, but let me know in the comments if you have any trouble, I'll do my best to help. Inkscape again is available online, you'll have to download it, but if you like it and you wanna see it developed more and maybe make it a little bit more user friendly, you can actually donate directly to the creator. So I definitely encourage you to check it out. We also have an additional software called Vector. Uh, Vector is just like it sounds, it's a vector program, but it's entirely free to use online. However, I will say it is very limited to the other two programs we mentioned. But if you just need something simple, easy, and maybe you're in a little bit of a rush, Vector works great. Again, it does work entirely online, so you do need a decent internet connection or you might get a little bit of lag, but all the basic stuff is here. Shapes, pen tool, there's layering and export options, and you know what, for what it is, it works pretty good. Well, that's gonna wrap us up for this second bit of free software, hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we're gonna take a look at some free software specifically for editing, so uh, make sure you stop by next week. Like and subscribe if you like the content and consider hitting the bell icon so you stay notified when these videos go up and uh, you get the ding dings and uh, you'll be notified when uh, all the, I don't know where I was going with that. Click the bell is what I was trying to say. Uh, if you are trying the software at home and you want to learn more about how to use it, consider signing up for an online class or check out other classes where we may use these pieces of software. So with that all said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next tech tip. Bye guys.